in 2014, popular Kisumu pencil artist Mr. Collins Omondi Okelo drew his way into President Uhuru Kenyatta's heart, earning him a meet-up with the president at State House. A humbling experience, he says, one which would be his breakthrough in his career as an artist living in the sprawling slums of Nyawita Estate in Kisumu. Mr. Omondi had drawn President Kenyatta in his military fatigue, a portrait that blew social media and attracted the attention of the president who personally called him and invited him to Nairobi. My name is Collins Omondi Okelo, and uh, I'm a pencil artist. I specialize in, in pencil art. I only uh, focused on pencil art when I realized it was, it was my forte. But I also do painting uh, and a host of others. When I was in school, teachers used to give me charts to draw. Uh, fellow classmates used to also, uh, I used to assist them in, in drawing, in drawing, uh, you know, uh, diagrams and, uh, and stuff. So when I realized uh, that, the time that I realized I could do this professionally was after campus. That is when now I, I, I realized I was good, really good at it and before I appreciated it. Yes, to the point of buying commission. The challenge is made, made majorly is getting the, the quality materials. Uh, getting quality materials locally is, is a challenge, so I have to import and it is quite expensive. Um, but um, locally I use the available materials. I improvise as well. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so w when I joined campus, I focused on my academics. I wasn't doing artwork. I was doing BCom, uh, banking and finance. Okay, people don't really appreciate art that much uh, in Kenya, especially. Or let me say Africa in general. Um, it is it is not considered uh, uh, a job that is very you know something that someone can earn from on a full-time basis. It is taken, uh, taken as something that is part-time. Yeah. The, the, the people who normally say it is like a job, it is not a job, you know. Uh, so those are some of the challenges. So people appreciate a, a few, but I'm trying to change that. I'm, I'm working at changing the perception of art. Okay, uh, I've used social media well from long um, when I was in campus. But wasn't really doing art partly. Uh, it just dawned on me that I was losing out on this skill. And so one day, some someone wanted a piece of art, and they remembered me from way back. And then they asked me to draw, and they would pay me. And so my first payment was five hundred shillings. And so uh, after that, the, by word of mouth and through marketing through him, um, I got other calls. From inboxes on social media to text messages, Kisumu's Picasso's phone could not stop blowing up with orders. The past few days I've seen his dormant Twitter handle grow from 300 followers to 6,581 and counting. Reason being, his drawing had grabbed the attention of the whole world after he did another portrait that is said to earn him another meetup with American entertainer, comedian and TV host. Hey Steve! Steve Harvey, Mr. Omondi, a 30-year-old father of two, posted an incomplete portrait of the comedian on his official Twitter handle on February 27th with a caption, Hey, I am Steve Harvey. Here's my pencil drawing of you by me. With love from Kenya. Hope you see it. He then asked Kenyans on social media and his followers to tag the comedian. This worked and two days later, Mr. Harvey commented, Everyone has a God-given gift. This is what following your gift looks like. Just incredible. But when he posted the complete work and offered to give him as a gift, the comment from Mr. Harvey would blow not only the mind of the artist away, but his followers too. Now I'm looking for you. It would be an honor to have this. What size is it? I'll be in Johannesburg and Botswana soon. Let's hook up then. Someone from my team will message you. When the nation team visited him at his studio, he confirmed that they have been in talks with Harvey. After his conversation with the American Idol on Twitter, other corporates have come in support with the likes of Bonfire Adventures offering to sponsor his flights to wherever place they will meet. His kind of drawing is one that is keen on details and loves to draw a complicated portrait. I 
never thought would ever happen that I would be called by the president because of a network I did. So it was a big thing for me and uh, I thank God for it. Apart from Steve Harvey, he has also done a beautiful piece of art on American writer, director, producer, actor and filmmaker Tyler Perry. He star shone bright after the visit to the house on the hill and from there he would get a number of referrals and jobs from State House. He did some portraits for State House which the president gifted former United States President Barack Obama when he visited Kenya in 2015 as well as one on the Pope, position chief Raila Odinga, the late Safaricom CEO Bob Colimo, Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko, TV host Jeff Koinange, and Peter Kenneth as well as other corporate leaders. Initially, he used to do his artwork as a hobby, but started taking it seriously when he was studying business communication, majoring on banking and finance at Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology after attaining a main grade of A- in KCSE in 2007. Focus more on details. details. Uh, I go further into details. And, uh, um, especially you know, the skin, you know, the eyes, hair follicles, yeah, wrinkles. Mm. So this is my first trial at Hyperrealism. I wanted to see um, the reaction of guys. If, if it was going to work well, then I was going to proceed with it and better myself. Right. So this is my first attempt, attempt at Hyperrealism. Uh, put me on the, on the map. I'm, I'm getting retweets from international celebrities. I'm getting calls from people I never thought I would. Uh, I'm also getting, uh, you know, uh, a lot of support from Kenyans and uh, Africans in general. I'm also seeing people from the USA, Kenyans in diaspora, uh, people from South Africa. So uh, I'm getting a lot of support, and uh, it's, it's huge and almost overwhelming, but. I like it. Well, he contacted me privately, uh, but he wanted my my private details uh, so that he could, uh, his team could get in touch and and, and uh, you know tell me about how they have organized uh, our meeting and uh, where we meet the logistics general. Yeah. So yeah, he contacted me, but we have not yet set a date. Prior to that, his teachers at Arua Primary School in Kisumu and Kisumu Boys High School had noticed his skills at a very tender age and he could be asked to draw diagrams or maps which could be used during lessons. His strength, however, has been the utilization of social media which has helped him market his artwork that he sells at a minimum fee of 10,000 shillings. In 2018, he won Winam Business Leaders Award as the Best Enterprising Creative. Four, A3, A2, A1, and A0. But there are also clients who want uh, customized sizes. They give you a specific size that you want, or a specific uh, sports that they want. Yeah. So the minimum price that they charge is 10,000. It's been a journey. And uh, setting up a studio, a uh, studio like this, it, it costs a lot. Uh, and and uh, was getting quality material to, to be able to compete in the market, you have to have quality material uh, because there are so many good, good artists out there who are uh, you know, getting better with time. So you have, you have to keep up. So it's, it's quite expensive, challenging, and also the market is, uh, you know, okay, for me, I've been lucky uh, that my name is out there. So for me, I make good use of uh, social media. Uh, which has really gotten me so, so many good clients. Uh, yeah, so that is paying my bill, my bills fully. I don't do any other thing. Uh, full time from uh, from whichever time uh, from the morning six a.m. Art can pay. It depends with how how persistent, how how working you are. It depends with uh, you know. Uh, your ambition, uh, if you believe in your, your, your skill, you know, if you, if you compare yourself to other people, then you can never believe in yourself, you can never see yourself as being equal. So many people have done, drawn Steve Harvey, so many artists 
and so many artists have gone viral on the internet trying to catch the attention of Steve Harvey. So if I went to the internet and, and seeing that Steve Harvey never responded to any of them, I would have been discouraged. I would never have uh, said that even his podcast. But I believed in myself and I believed that it was going to catch his attention. So one uh, advice that I would give young people is to make very good use of social media to market their craft. Education is important. It is very important. Even in communicating with these guys, you need education. You, you, you cannot communicate if you are not, you know, not learned. And I'm also applying my business acumen. You know, what I learned from school in, in you know, in growing my business, you know, marketing principles. You know, I'm using so many of these things that I learned in you know, doing my, you know, the personal business. So it is not useless. It is not useless. It is useful in the sense that I inject it in, in my passion. Which is art. And as Richard Branson said, the most talented, thought provoking, game changing people are never normal. For Nation Digital, I'm Dickens Ngichok.